Field Marshal Idi Amin Dada has often been portrayed as the Hitler of Africa, a wild man, a butcher. The Idi Amin we saw, if he is a modern monster of Africa, was a very jovial one indeed. This was an afternoon get-together at a presidential lodge in Kampala, thrown by President Amin for his cabinet ministers and senior military officers. The main event was a basketball game, and the star player was Idi Amin, captain of the star presidential team. Except my team is a unique team. <laughs> I have got a private, non-commissioned officer, uh, officers, lieutenant, captain, major, general, field marshal, or in my team. <laughs> my team has no discrimination. <laughs> Idi Amin proved to be as imposing on the basketball court as he is on the international scene. His team won every game, and his opponents, try as they might, never managed to get one ball in the net. No one seemed surprised. For a country supposedly in crisis, the mood was remarkably relaxed. Neither Idi Amin nor his power structure around him showed any sign that there was the slightest thing wrong in the country. He was just as relaxed when we talked about Uganda's problems, especially its recent quarrel with the United States. I think President Carter, I like him as a person, but I think he don't understand me. He don't understand even Africa with his foreign secretary, might be with his uh, uh, ambassador to the United Nations, which we, the people in the continent of Africa and the black people all over the world, were very grateful to him, to appoint him to him, appoint him to become a... Uh, 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 ambassador of the United States of America to United Nations. We are very grateful for his appointment, but uh, is, he doesn't know the African policy. G given all this, uh, Your Excellency, what do you think the chances are for better relations between you and President Carter, better relations between Uganda and the United States? Uh, I, myself, personally, I wanted to be a good relation with the United States of America. I don't have any, anything against the United States of America. But uh, the only uh, condemnation to the uh, some people in the government might be the Zionists who are controlling the economy of the United States, controlling the banking system of the United States, which makes United States of America, like city like New York, bankrupt. You travel with what appears to me to be very few bodyguards. Uh, if there were some uh, fanatic out there, it seems to me that they could pick you off. Do you worry about things like that? You don't seem to. You move very I, freely. I don't worry. And uh, you see, uh, if God wants you to die, you can die any time even whether you have a million bodyguards, they will kill you. As, for example, uh, late President Kennedy was killed, how many bodyguards he has. And uh, therefore, if you are afraid, you can't be president if you're here, because as a president, head of state, you must have a lot of enemies, especially like me. I have a lot of enemies, but I don't, uh, I am not afraid. It would be difficult, even for Idi Amin's worst enemies, to deny that he has charm and a certain charisma, and in various ways has managed to impose his presence on a reluctant world. Whether he can use all that to bring peace and justice to his country is another matter altogether. Bill McLaughlin, CBS News, at the Presidential Lodge in Kampala, Uganda. Kasebe, kasebe, kasebe.